Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Don't you never have the sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this you crazy mother. What's going on everybody? This is the Game Hunter channel with a new episode of War Combination Infected. The good guys. <laughs> and this is my first episode after PAX East in Boston. That was uh, a couple of weeks ago. And I had a great, great, great time. Just, just want to take one second before we start with the video to say thank you to the whole group of War Combination. Uh, the World Nation booth was amazing. It was always packed with people. Uh, so even for me, it was difficult to go there and talk with the developers and the people who were attending at the booth. So I, but I got a chance to talk with um, some really nice people who works in the in this amazing game. So I just want to say thank you for the time. Thank you for making this game. And let's get into action. Okay, so in this episode, we're going to talk about a couple things. Number one... Let's go back to Evolution 2.0. That's going to be part of the episode. People sometimes get confused. And personally, I was confused too. Um, so I got to... Okay, we're not going to play Clash of Clans now. Okay, so go. Oh, out of here. Out of here. Thank you. Um, so I was all excited because I got my Drek now. Level 29. And remember that in a previous episode, I was able to get the Drek now one more time. So... I can't even explain you how happy I was, even with the amount of DNA to upgrade <laughs> the Dreadnought to level 30 is more than 15,000 in DNA. Yes, more than 15,000 in DNA, which is insane. But well, that was not the problem. The problem is when, when I was trying to evolve the Dreadnought, it's like, hmm, this is strange. It's still asking me for another unit. See in the bottom? They say evolve. Combine with another unit of the same type that is not upgrading on your team or collecting. Okay? So, yes, I think it's a miscommunication here. I, I think uh, it would be better if it had a little more information. <laughs> because otherwise you're going to keep guessing what is going on. Okay? The other Dreadnought is uh, it's not in my team. The other Dreadnought is not collecting what is going on, why I cannot use the Dreadnought level 2 that I have. Well, the reason is the following. In order to upgrade your Dreadnought from level 29 to 30, you need another Dreadnought in the same tier of upgrades. That means that if I want to upgrade this one to 30, I need to have a Dreadnought level 10. So what does that mean? I need three Dreadnoughts in order to reach level 30. Yes! So all the excitement about getting a second Dreadnought, well, then I might need to wait for a few. <laughs> because we need another one. I need to get the other Dreadnought to level 9, and then just cross my finger and get, I'll probably open a couple packs, and hopefully I will get the third Dreadnought that I need in order to upgrade this amazing, probably one of my favorite units in the game, the Dreadnought to level 30. So that's how it works. Okay, so for example, if you want to get a. I think if you need to reach level 40, you need to get a Dreadnought level 20 or 30. Even now I'm confused. <laughs> anyway, it's, it's still a long way to go, so I'm not going to even worry about it. But I want I want to make sure that you guys understand this evolution 2.0 because at the beginning it's really easy. At the beginning you just need two units of the same time. When you have the, for example, the Dragon level nine, you want to go to level ten. You just need to you you, you just need to have the Dragon level nine plus another one of each in in level. Okay. Now the thing is <laughs> a little bit different. When we get to level 29, we're going to go to 30, we need another Dreadnought, but level 10. So, unfortunately, I need another one. So, let's make the math. In order for me to upgrade my Dreadnought from 9 to 10, I used 2. I had the... Okay, this is the second one. Yes. 3, 4... Okay, wow, I need 4? Four? 4 Dreadnoughts to reach level 30. Wow, that is crazy. Wow, okay. I'm not gonna even think about that. <laughs> so otherwise I'm gonna go insane trying to figure out the rest. So probably it's a good idea to start upgrading other units, okay? That's what I decide to do. People keep sending me messages 
and I appreciate that because that's why I'm here I'm here to to share whatever I learned during the beta stage of the game um, asking me what units are the best probably to start upgrading especially if you just start playing the game uh, I will say units that I love having right away well if you have a chance to have the cesspool go for it okay the cesspool is amazing I love it this is it's probably my favorite range unit of the infected so as soon as you have that one go for it and that's what I'm trying to do now I'm trying to reach the cesspool level 30 I have plenty of cesspool so it's not gonna be a problem I, am, I think I'm already start upgrading a second cesspool yes so that way I can reach and actually you know what that's what we're gonna do um, I'm trying to reach the um, level 30 with my cesspool and like I say I have so many cesspool that is not gonna be an issue like with the Dragnaut to achieve the level 30. Well, the only problem is that upgrading the the, <laughs> the cesspool is not cheap. Look at this. Well, it's not that bad. It's almost 8,000. Eh, it's not that bad, right? I thought it was worth. Anyway, so cesspool, mandatory. Try to get that one. Um, the other one is, well, Dr. Zombie Witch is the name of the unit when you start playing the game. At this point, it's called Dr. Zombie Watts. <laughs> and it's a modification of Dr. Zombie Witch. Don't worry, the modification is going to come during the campaign. So go through the campaign and you shouldn't have any issues to get Dr. Zombie Watts. But what is important about this unit? This unit is a hero. Okay. Um, and people are asking me what it's, it is necessary to upgrade this one. Yes. Yes, this is your best friend at the beginning of the game. Okay, uh, when you start playing War Simulation, the heroes are so 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 important that you need to upgrade those guys as much as you can until you receive the message say, okay, keep playing the campaign in order to upgrade the unit. Okay, so 100% hands down, upgrade your hero as soon as you can when you start playing War Simulation, Captain Zeta or Doctor Zombie with him okay mandatory um then the other question that i always receive is what should i do should i go reanimator or should i go with a mortician okay both units are rare and to be quite honest they're really easy to get okay this is not I mean, just just play for a couple hours and i think you can get the reanimator and the mortician during the campaign i'm not really sure because unfortunately i didn't have a chance to play the new campaign with infected because i'm already finished that during the beta but um if you ask me which one is better i would probably say reanimator 100 percent, okay because remember the reanimator is going to help you to have another um let's say you can, you can call reinforcement okay you're going to keep reviving dead humans and raise them as drones and you know drones can be converted to any other unit so i believe they have more value than the mortician the mortician what it does it revived the special infected which is not bad okay by the beginning of the game um i believe the reanimator is way more important okay there is a lot of battles that you're gonna kill i mean you're gonna finish just with the drones so if you have a reanimator and your drones <laughs> you are in business <laughs> you can keep spawning guys and eventually one day somehow they're going to be able to take care of their survivors so reanimator is a mandatory unit to get and the biohazard too okay if you don't have the the patient zero just go for the biohazard no brainers another extremely useful unit remember we can kill units that are in the other side if there is a barricade for example and you have the biohazard the biohazard is going to be able to reach that unit before the drones before the other ones so really important um what else uh, i would probably say the well the defiler is important okay because the defiler has range is the unit with more range for the infected players so i believe it's not a bad idea to have a defiler okay because you can keep units at on distance okay really really useful um the brute well the brute we already know is the basic unit it's not really really worth it i mean you can upgrade it to so it can help you to extract resources but i would recommend you to go with the goliath okay as soon as you have a chance goliath is a improved version the rare version of the brute and it's a no-brainer too and that's pretty much mm, 
yeah, I will tell you that's pretty much what I will recommend you at the beginning to start upgrading. Um, if we go into more basic units, uh, yeah, Goliath, Reanimator, Titan, of course. Titan is almost mandatory. Titan or Dregno. No brainers. Okay, so we have some news. Okay, new a new patch is coming. New units are coming. New exclusive units are coming for people who went to PAX East. So hopefully I will be able to start using the it is called El Luchador, which is a new unit for the infected. Um, so I'm, I'm, I'm just waiting for that. And why do I have that many packs? I mean, somebody told me, what about if I do another episode of opening packs? Um, I was going to do that. I was going to get like another epic bundle but, uh, bundle package, but I decided to, to wait. Okay, I'm just going to wait for the patch because with the patch it's going to bring new units. So I'm, I think it's going to be more exciting if we open packs and we see those new units. So as soon as the new patch gets released, I'm going to open all the packs that I have. Right now, I, I think I have three of these uncommon packages. Yeah. But it's, and again, I have so many units that I, I don't really care. And I know I'm not going to get nothing really amazing. So I'd rather wait for the, um, for the release of the new patch. Okay. All right, so let's go into a couple matches. Faction Wars available. Aha, I didn't know that. All right, it's in Rome. One more day, 10 to 39. Wow. Okay, let's take a look to Rome, see what we can do. Um, yeah, we're kind of far away. The problem with uh, wars, and in this case, Faction Wars, yeah, Faction Wars, is that um, you need to play a lot, okay? Otherwise, you won't be able to get into any good standing. It's going to allow you to get a decent price. Right now, let me see. You know, to get any prices. Well, yeah, you would. Yeah, I think anybody can get a, a price right there. All right, so we can go in. Let's. We can probably try one in hard. We're going to probably modify our team a little bit. Because I don't want to go with this. We can go with the. Uh, Track now. Uh, Assassin, you're going down. We're going with Shock to Zombie Watts because, um, like I said, a lot of people were asking me to make a special episode, Doctor of Shock to Zombie Watts. But you know what? Making a whole episode, one unit like that, is probably not worth it. I already did a bunch of reviews of the basic troops for the infected players, so we're just going to keep it like that, okay? Um, Reanimator. The whole idea is that we're going to attack in this one and we're going to be analyzing the deployment of our units and how the units are acting on the battlefield. All right, so we got the Dregno. I need at least three strong um, melee characters. We can probably put, let's probably put the Colossus. I don't, I don't use the Colossus that much. Not anymore. All right, so we have the Biohazard is there. The yeah, Reanimator is there. The Undertaker is here. I want to use the Assassin. Maybe I should put another Titan. It's not probably not a bad idea. You see, we're almost reaching the maximum level of the team. Um, and the team that I'm getting from my teammates is... Oh. Yeah, perfect. Because I was planning to use my Cesspool. But my cesspool is level 26 or something like that. Yeah, yeah, yes, 26. So I guess I can survive with that 22. The Titan that I have is 20. Oh, you know what? That's a better idea. I'm going to get the Titan. Okay. I'm going to choose that one. And I'm going to use my cesspool. No. Because now I'm <laughs> over the limit. All right. Where is the cesspool? Come back. And uh, where is my Titan? Come back now. We are. Oh yeah. <laughs> you need to play with the maximum team power, otherwise we're gonna be in trouble. All right, so let's get into this battle in Rome and try to analyze how we are gonna deploy our units. Okay, you're gonna see how important is zombie watts. It's really tough. And the good thing about zombie watts, uh, the doctor zombie watt, doctor zombie watt can destroy walls quite easily. Okay, so that's. Really, really, really important. Oh, did I deploy a couple of units by mistake? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Awesome. Okay, we're going to put a Titan in front to be able to contain. There you go. The damage from those units. We can probably start attacking from here. It's always good to, dis 
get like a attack from different angles that is always important we're gonna put the biohazard right here and the biohazard you see is gonna start damaging all the units in the area see all this unit all those snipers are dying and even these units that are behind the walls are gonna go down without any any problem I believe nobody's noticing that there is a unit over there what about we get close you see as long as the the biohazard is closed we should be able to get there without any any problem all right where are we going there's any more troops it's a big map well it is a big map wow all right so probably we can deploy more drones from here we have plenty of drones and i haven't even deployed the reanimator which is great all right so we're going to put the dragon in front so we can avoid the damage from those units biohazard in second round should be able to bring down this guy without any any issues uh we have a drone gazer which we're going to put in the middle with some steam z so we should be able to take down those units without any problem and one more time the biohazard well the biohazard is supposed to be in the back otherwise that lumberjack is going to kill it. actually i think my biohazard is done no biohazard is still alive no he's done <laughs> but my drag now shouldn't have any 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 problems to bring down that unit all right so with wow there's still more units in here that's a lot of units <laughs> we're gonna put another cesspool in here remember the drones always are gonna try to target buildings first so you're gonna need to use your in this case it's not really a big deal but you need to start using your flare as much as you can in order to control the horde otherwise it's gonna be a big big problem trying to to make sure that your units are doing what you want them to do okay otherwise they're gonna get distracted attack building and in the meantime you can have a machine gun or somebody like that behind them and that will be a good buy <laughs> that was a good first battle not too bad we got some decent trophies what are we having here is that a reward hey yeah, we got some coins perfect the more coins we get the better because like i said we're gonna start we're gonna probably buy as many packages as i can before the release of the new patch okay that way as soon as the patch get released boom we're gonna buy a, a bunch of packs and we're gonna open it together all right so let's see how are we doing in here we do, do are we in any range of doing something <laughs> no where, where, where am i really i'm not even in the list really no oh, okay I guess I need to play for a long, long, long time. Yeah, because the rewards are not that great. You see the how many trophies I'm getting? I'm getting 400 in hard. Yeah, it's gonna take forever. Ugh, not even worth it. It's not even worth it. But you know what? Let's go one more time, just to put in action. This time we're gonna put Shocktor Zombie Wets. Oh, I got two Titans now. Ugh, I didn't check the unit that I was getting from my guild members but anyway we should be fine hard difficulty is not hard at all to be quite honest when you get to a high level of course that's what i meant all right so what we can do from here we can start from we can start from here okay which shall be what's in front and then we put the biohazard the biohazard is gonna take care of pretty much everybody in here look at that Easily, easily is gonna take care of the all the units behind the walls, and if we are lucky, probably see if we use the flare and we put the flare in here, in this corner. Uh, you see, they're already receiving damage. Okay, you know what? Let's put the flare in here. See, and with the biohazard and the flare, we are gonna take care of those outlaws and that. I think it's a spec ops. I'm not really sure. And there you go we were able to kill a bunch of units just using the flare and the biohazard now our troops are getting this like a, in two groups which is always trouble but that shouldn't be an issue we're gonna deploy another uh my friend you should there you go i'm glad you're going that way now now another biohazard will help me to support that titan over there so we shouldn't have any issues in the meantime we got dr shambi what taking care of business of course we have a sniper at the bottom which is uh trouble but there you go we have a special drone gazer and my friend goodbye there you go so what are we doing in the other side well 
this is a fun part when you when you can start managing different squads of infected player infected units i'm sorry see for example we're going to put another drone here and we can put one more time another titan and we shouldn't have any issues to bring down these guys is another sniper no there's no sniper in there let's try to pump our there you go our drones and with the biohazard <laughs> <laughs> there is no survivor that can hide. You cannot hide from us. Look at that. Biohazard is bringing down everybody. We're not even close to shoot that. Yeah, wow. Two more. That's it. That's it. Go down, man. Go down, Lumberjack. Should be able to fight these two titans. Should be able to. Oh, okay. The, the troops in the back is the one that is causing all the trouble. But here comes reinforcements. And reinforcements are coming. And with the flare, they're going to move extremely, extremely fast. Shambi Watts to the rescue. <laughs> that was a high level. I'm not really sure it was a surgeon. Big bah. She, whatever it was, she was she was healing that unit like crazy. Wow. I was I'm really surprised. Hey, the, the good thing about war, look at that, we get some decent DNA. Um and DNA is something that we well you guys know. We need a lot in order to keep upgrading our units. Uh, if I'm not wrong, I was evolving. Oh, yeah, I was evolving my cesspool. And I was also evolving Shocktor Zombie Watch to level 24. Nice. Uh, yeah, I increased big time the damage and everything. Wow, okay. All right, guys. I hope you guys are enjoying this quick episode quick it's like a 20 minute <laughs> this episode of let's play war domination infected we're going to be doing some interesting raids in the next episode probably going to do some pvp episode and like i say i can't wait to get the new patch so we can try the new units all right guys this is the game hunter signing off i'll see you in the next one take care everybody